his constitutional right not to be arrested, not to be detained, not to lose his freedom unless there's reasonable suspicion. That right was violated. There was no reasonable suspicion for this man to have been arrested and detained and carted off a prison for 38 days. He didn't have the, the, the ability to, to secure the, an attorney, and so he had to wait 38 days until his family could pull together some monies to be able to secure an attorney to obtain bail in the Supreme Court. Um, that is an injustice. That is something which happens on a day-to-day -day basis, and Mr. Major um, has taken a brave challenge to bring this matter to court. We've also challenging his right to be presumed innocent. The law under consideration also <coughs> makes it mandatory that, look, in addition to deeming you to be in possession of illegal firearm and ammunition, you have to now go to a court and then prove your innocence. So Major went through a full trial. He was able to be acquitted. But a citizen should not be put through that where they would have to obtain the service of an attorney because, as you know, um, a, a, a lay person having to go through a trial on his or her own may not be able to be able to, to put forward the necessary evidence as the certain the, as the, the necessary questions to be able to establish certain things. So these are things which under ordinary citizens under existing law are still faced with and, and therefore the case is an extremely important case and and it is one which is in my in my humble opinion, one of the one of the more important constitutional challenges that have been made in recent years.